Good morning, everybody. I am out in Texas. We made a kind of last minute trip out here again this year. It's four of us this time. Uh, got Drew and Chase who came along last year and then Nolan came along this year as well. And we came out to pretty much the same area that we hunted last year. And uh, the plan was to spend all of yesterday scouting. We got out in the morning pretty early and uh pretty early on morale was low uh the water levels are way down we weren't seeing many birds at all which i knew that the water was going to be a little bit down but i thought there was going to be incredible bird numbers here since they just went through a th freeze cycle and then now they're thawing out uh, but we really didn't see much on kind of the bigger bodies of water where there's typically a lot of birds but luckily yesterday drew and chase found a big group of widgeon feeding out in a wheat field uh, unfortunately we don't have a field duck spread out here but they watched them for a little while. The birds were bouncing from a pond to the field, kind of back and forth all afternoon. So uh, they went over there, got permission, and uh, we are set up on the pond this morning. It's a pretty sizable uh, pond, probably about 300 yards long and about 150 yards wide. But uh, there's a nice little peninsula that comes out in the middle of it. So we just built a pretty cool stick blind. I'll show you all that once it gets a little bit lighter. And I uh, just got like a dozen and a half of the final approach widgeon out and a couple of the mallards and a couple gadwalls. So we're going to get tucked in here. Got about, about five minutes till shooting light and uh, already heard some gadwalls and widgeons. So. Good shot. Oh yeah. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. I hope that was a drake I got. That was, that was a drake. Oh yeah, big group right here. Oh. I forgot to load my gun. Come over here. I have one die. Okay. Do it. Hey, single coming in. Everybody hold still. This is a pintail. Give me a time. Good shot. Oh, there, grab that. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, yeah, right here. Got two. We got three. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nah, those are merged. Well, this has been a hectic start. <laughs> Bubble heads just in the decoys. No, that's not me. No, that's me. 
Yep. Oh yeah. Dang. First bird of the day. Stud Drake Widgeon. Oh, that might be the damn dad one. Hen widgeon there. So two widgeon down. No one's got three. Drew's got two, and Chase has one. They kind of just, as y'all saw, finishing just a little bit off the point to our left. So we'll see what the next group does, and if they do that again, try and move the mojos and center them up. But they're definitely wanting in here pretty, pretty good. Watch that Drake. I was aiming for him and somehow killed the hen. Okay. Oh, heck yeah. Stud. Yeah. Stud. Good stuff. Well, we know they'll do it even with me out in the middle of the spread. We haven't even seen a fraction of the birds yet. It would be nice if we could get them quick and let them rest though. Yeah. Where's that one that Wade brought back to you? They look kind of good. Threw it over to, toward the oh yeah, it's right here. Here. Oh, oh. oh no, it's a bubble. Drew, grab that bird. Oh, right ringer. on. Whoa, oh, those are, what was that? That's a diver. Ringer. Ringer. Is it a ringer? Yep, ring that. No, that's a bluebill. Drew, you've still never shot one of those, have you? Nope. Y'all see the other one out front? No way. Oh, it just went in on the other side of the thing. Is there water over there? Yeah. There's that little bit. <sighs> Here you go. Yeah, good one. Okay, get ready if Wade drops this. It's still there. It's still alive. Good boy, Wade. Good man. Yeah. Those look like rigid. Alright, I'm gonna get on the board here. Both drakes. Good Ooh. shot, Chase. There we go. Both stud drakes. That was bad ass. <laughs> Now I feel a whole lot better. And they actually centered up too. Yeah. That one on the left yeah, he's a pretty stud. One. Good stuff. Good boy. Good boy. Leave it. Wait. Look. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I'm halfway to an all Drake widgeon limit. This one he's bringing back is your mounter. Yeah. He's got a broken wing, but besides that, he's got like a cream colored head too. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Three, if we find that other widgeon, four. 
I have not seen him. He there? Uh, yeah. I blew a couple of those off. Yeah. So you could, depending on what side you mounted from, it's fine. Yeah. Now yeah. oh, they're going to the field too, aren't they? So where do you think your other one's at? Somewhere. I saw him dive from there and it popped up. I haven't really seen him. It's like That's 500 so birds that just went in there in two flocks. It'd be awesome if we did not, like, I would love to get a flock like that to decoy, but it would, if we don't, then we get the if we, if we get a flock like that to decoy, we should not shoot into them. What are they? Would you? Yeah, they just were, sorry. Yeah, they're going to just land right there. They just weren't very plumed out, that's why. Mm. Oh, right. One more out front. <laughs> Who's going to shoot it? Yeah, so who wants it? I can shoot. It's a really nice one. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, if it's a nice one, you shoot. It's one of y'all. Me and Drew will be back up. Kill it. Thomas. Watch these two behind us. They just literally went and landed. <laughs> Nolan, that's a really nice one. You could just step over the bank and kill him right now. Mm. You want to kill him over the decoy? Well, I don't care, but. I do too. They got up. They got up. Hey, I doubt they'll swing back around, but. <clears throat> bring him here, bud. I gotta finish him. Yeah, just ring his neck. Little one. Yeah, I mean, if those. Because we've had, what, three sizable groups come in. If those ones did it, how that pair did it, we'd probably be done. Or yeah. close to it. Time will tell if it was moving the mojos, but I'm guessing that's what it was. Hey, we got three over the uh, trailer coming up. Oh, yeah. Probably want to tap your gun. No, let, let the other two. Good shot. I waited a few seconds. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was going to land anyway. It's... Were they even going to land, the other two? If so, they probably would have circled over us done? where we could have shot. That's I don't that's know for sure. But... Good man, Wade. I wasn't even on the one that I shot at. Yeah, you shot as well? Yeah, he shot I going shot away. One of the far ones. Oh, that's right. Yeah, if I would have shot a hair sooner, I think I could have killed it, but. It was because he was really nice. Yeah. Should we switch? Do you want to come down here since more of them are. Uh, right over top. Shot. Good shooting, no one. Okay. Reaching out with the 20 gauge. Oh, I was like to holler a Dude, second I'm, ago. I was like, this yeah, would have been your best moment. I, one, I didn't even it. have my gun all the way on my shoulder when I shot the first time. I was just excited. It could easily be tucked up against the bank. I'm going to shoot there. my fifth and then I'm going to take a walk. Yeah, say so and then do it. Oh, yeah. Nice gut walk.
I wonder if there's any Gadwall mixed in with this big flux of Widgeon. I didn't see I any. I think there was. I mean, the first group, because you saw the one that I killed earlier over here. I, I guess the man was coming to the middle. So where'd the other two? When that was single, there was one or two that went overhead going this way, I believe. I've never seen Just them. Now? That's a really big Gadwall. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Oh, dude, he is. This area is known for Magnum Gadwalls. Chase killed one last year here that was like the size. Possibly any to mount, but uh, I don't think so. That was a nice I'll one. I'll wait for one with a, a ring. Or the purple head. Go over the bus. Oh, yeah. It's like a diver move. Nah, uh, it's a widgeon. Shit, you get it? Yeah. What else? Oh, oh shit. Hey, kill. Oh, that's a nice Gadwall right there. Oh. Hey, here you go. And Widgeon. No, Hard to tell. Should I bump rush the Gadwall? If you want to. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. You could have killed it the first round. Can't hurt to get a live decoy out of here, though. Hey, they're circling back. Oh, there's a third bird. There's a third bird. Yeah, that third one might suck them all in. Third one wants it. Who's taking this one? Nice shot. Killed it. Nolan. You shot your second shot that quick right after your first shot? Oh, Thomas is about to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Drew are ready for backup as well. Yeah. Cripples about him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 10 yards. I wish I had brought the 28 gauge. Yeah, that's a really small yeah. Oh, but his over here is far shot in the gab That thing was. Yeah, no, that was a good shot. Come here. Oh, just get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh, wow. Um. I don't know. What are we, do what are we doing? If they come, we better shoot well and get, and get our bird. Yep. If they do it, let's just everybody get their bird. I'm done. That's a lot more than 500. <laughs> they're just going back into the field. Yeah. No, there's a group coming. But there's a group coming. Oh, there's many groups coming. Oh. No, don't shoot.
Holy smoke. Thomas, you just got some crazy footage. Crazy stuff. Oh, uh, we just had probably at least a couple hundred widgeon come in. They're all circling out over the field. I always wanted to go on a hunt like this, but we're gonna work quick to get these birds up and uh, get on out of here. Well, it has uh, been a minute. I hope everybody has been having an eventful spring and summer. Uh, I will have a full puppy and channel update coming out here sometime in the next couple of weeks to just kind of go over what I've been up to. And just to wrap up this video, I want to go ahead and just kind of talk about this hunt a little bit. And then I have one big announcement to finish off the video with. Uh, this hunt, I hope you guys enjoyed the heck out of it. It was one of those hunts that I feel like we just couldn't do anything wrong. Uh, there were so many widgeon keyed in on this pond uh, we had a pretty good hide and they were coming back from a wheat field so they were pretty thirsty they just wanted to get down into the pond and get a drink and I think the only thing we could have done to be able to get out of there a little bit sooner and put a little bit less pressure on the birds would have just been to center up those mojos a little bit sooner uh, the first couple flocks were just kind of drifting out over there to the left of our setup out into the open water and as soon as we centered up those mojos it seemed like every bird after that pretty much wanted to center up right in the decoys we ended the morning with uh, 23 birds drew actually was able to jump shoot his first ever bluebill after the hunt on the little tank that was above the pond and i will have four more hunts from this texas trip coming out here over uh, the next couple weeks and then I got a bunch more hunts from this past season that I'm going to be dropping throughout August and throughout the fall so I hope you guys will uh, stay tuned for those the big announcement I have uh, I'm working for DRC calls Corey Loeffler again this summer and we've been working on a new duck call which is something I've been really excited about I've been using the DRC rev for the past two years and I love it but there were small little imperfections in it so Corey recognized those a couple years ago. He pulled it from the market. They haven't been haven't been available on the website in I think almost two years. And so we really wanted to make it a goal this summer to get duck calls back on the website, acrylic duck calls back on the website. And we finally did that with the DRC Harlot. Uh, we actually just dropped the first one through 25 of these. Last week, we're doing the first one through 100 serial numbered. And then number 26 through 50 are going to be dropping tonight on drccalls.com at 6 p.m. Central. So uh, I've been busy getting all the calls ready, uh, busy testing them out and stuff like that. And I'm absolutely in love with this call. Uh, it's got incredible range, rasp. Uh, I like it can get really quiet, has a really good choppy feed chatter, but also it got this has plenty of top on the pop end so plenty of pop on the top end so i'm actually going to go ahead and blow a little sound file to wrap up this video uh, but before i do i do that i just want to say if you guys have any questions about that hunt leave in the comment section down below and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel i'd really appreciate if you click on that subscribe button hope everybody out there is staying safe god bless and thanks for watching